What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching or not starting issue you're currently having with The Last of Us Part 2. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial. In the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that, that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm going to really really be thankful for that and I'm going to thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is going to be to navigate down to your taskbar. You're going to right click and open up your task manager. What I want you to do next is going to be simply navigate to the top left corner, clicking onto processes. What I want you to do here is going to be to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and type in T in order to find The Last of Us Part 2. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you've finished, you should be able to end this task again. And the next step is going to be to take your The Last of Us shortcut or your Steam shortcut. And um, if you don't have it on your desktop, just simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click on the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right back on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click it and navigate to the very bottom where it says properties. Once the Steam properties pop up or your The Last of Us properties pop up, click on compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program in compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, disable disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend you just restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. What I want you to do next is going to be simply start it and um, once you started it you should be able to fix this issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I uh, hope that I would actually help you out of this one. If, if it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.